The Opium War was two wars in mid 19th century involving Anglo Chinese disputes over British trade in China. The first Opium War was during 1839 through 1842. The second Opium War was during 1856 to 1860. A series of military engagements fought between the United Kingdom and the Qing destiny, China, over conflicting viewpoints on diplomatic relations, trade, and the administration of justice in China. The wars and events between them weakened the Qing destiny and forced China to trade with the other parts of the world. The Qing destiny was China's last imperial destiny. China was being ruled through the bureaucracy, wars, natural disasters, and outdated bureaucracy eventually led to the Qing destiny. It took them a few decades until 1683 that the Qing took control of the whole of China. End of the century, Chinese economy had recovered from the devastations caused by the previous war. Qing economy developed and markets continued to expand during the 18th century. China continued to export tea, silk, and manufacturers creating a large favorable trade balance with the West. Some members of the lower class were prohibited from taking examinations. The exams were based on knowledge and skills. Wealthy families could open to the system by educating their sons or purchasing a degree. In the 19th century, they blamed the imperial system for China's lack of technical knowledge. And the military utilized animals, both real and mythological, each had nine wings. Wings separated upper, middle, and lower class status. The first one is the Manchurian crane, meaning wisdom. The second is the Golden pheasant, meaning courage. The third wing is a peacock, meaning beauty and dignity. The fourth wing is a wild goose, meaning morality. The fifth rank is a silver pheasant, meaning beauty and good fortune. The sixth rank is lesser arrogance, meaning happiness. The seventh rank is the Mandarin duck. It symbolizes loyalty. The eighth rank is the quail. It symbolizes courage. The ninth rank is the paradise flycatcher meaning longevity. Birds were selected because they were featured frequently in literary works. Depending on how the bird is standing or where they are looking, determine what rank they are. In this artwork, the peacock represents a peaceful and orderly universe ruled by a white imperial. The ranked bird is looking toward the sun, which the sun represents the wise imperial. Silk embroidery was found in classical texts, making and wearing of garments, decorative aspects of embroidered designs. Embroidery was used to distinguish rank among people and was applied on garments, designs, and symbols and colors of full meaning. Badge is worked entirely in tiny circular stitches known as the Peking or Chinese knot. Upper part of the square is embroidered with sun or clouds. Military officers also wear rank badges. Ranks were represented by animal strength. Positions were denoted by their salary. A Mandarin square, also known as rank badge, is a large embroidered badge sewn onto the circle. It's embedded with detailed colorful animal or bird, indicating the rank of the official wearing it. Most Chinese fine embroiders are in silk. 
Embroidery was also used as a decorating silk clothing, silk banners, and a noted rank. My artwork rank badge to peacock was made late 18th century, early 19th century. China, medium, silk metallic thread on silk, dimensions 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Classification, textiles, and bloated. Creator of this kind of design was usually an anonymous class person, usually a new woman who learned at a young age. The two critical approaches I will be using are Marxism and iconography. The range badge shows iconography because it represents the badges as symbols of birds and animals and ranks of people in China. Qing destiny shows Marxism because what was happening in China that led them to have a bureaucracy system. This involves people's social class and their ranks in China during the Qing destiny. At the bottom of the artwork, you can see the turbulent seas, which are darker in the middle of the waves. In the middle of the waves, you can see them go from low to high. There are different colored flowers surrounding the peacock, brown, yellow, green, and red with white. The birds on the top right are arbitrary colors. The clouds are blue with white inside them, still mostly out of the artwork. There are different colors mixed with the sky. The artwork uses Buddhism symbols. The clouds are overlapping each other and there is a petition throughout the artwork. The peacock is the focal point of this artwork. The peacock feather is thread embroidery pointy wings, long brown tail, and head bends in with the sky. There are two different versions of the rain badge with peacock. They are each similar and unique on their own. All three of them have cloudy sky with thick feathered tail. During the Qing destiny, clothing was just not worn for decorations, worn and modesty, but it was also used to let people know a person's rain in a complex society. The most important part of the clothing was the Mandarin Square, which was on the upper part of the robes. They were represented by a bird so people can know what rank they were. Each government official wore garments that had different designs and colors, which each had their own symbols and were full of meaning. Big, strong animals denoted military rank. First military rank was a queer, a mythical creature known as Chinese unicorn. Scholars had birds and bloated on their Mandarin squares. Officials wore different headgear depending on their rank. People who were in a higher rank meant that they have a higher education. Those people were usually the wealthy people. Wives wear their husband's ring on the opposite direction of their husband's. Women's clothing, usually called ji pao, were embroidered flowers. This is my artwork. I was inspired by the rain badge with peacock. This is the same, just a different version of the artwork with peacock. I tried to do as much detail as I could because the Mandarin squares are very detailed.